Many insects have the amazing ability to use spatial and visual cues to navigate within their environment. A recent study by Ofsted and colleagues aimed to demonstrate that Drosophila melanogaster, or the fruit fly, has the ability to form and retain spatial memories to aid navigation. The study also aimed to isolate the part of the fly's brain which is responsible for this behaviour. To determine whether fruit flies are capable of visual place learning, a thermal vision arena was created in which the flies were challenged to locate a hidden cool tile placed in an otherwise warm environment. A pattern displayed around the outside of the arena corresponded with the location of a cool tile, thus providing a constant spatial cue. Fifteen flies were confined within the arena and it was found that over the course of ten trials, the time that it took for the flies to locate the cool tile dramatically decreased. Individual flies were also tested in a similar manner to ensure that social interactions were not influencing the results. It was found that these flies showed similar improvements in locating the target. To ensure that the flies were using spatial cues to navigate, trials were conducted in which the position of the cool tile and the visual patterns were altered so that the flies had no constant visual cues. These flies showed no improvements in locating the cool tile. Similarly, when the flies were tested in the dark, rather than searching a specific area for the cool tile, they searched the entire perimeter, again showing no improvement in trial time. A probe trial in which the cool tile was removed was then immediately conducted and it was found that the flies continued to search the area where they were trained that the cool tile should be. The next experiment sought to investigate which part of the fruit fly brain processes spatial memories. Small subsets of neurons within the mushroom bodies were inactivated and it was found that this had no significant effect on visual place learning among the flies. In contrast, when subsets of neurons in the ellipsoid body were inactivated, visual place learning among the flies was severely compromised. The results of the studies conducted led Ofsted and colleagues to conclude that fruit flies can indeed use spatial and visual cues to aid navigation. By changing the amount of time between the initial trials and the probe trial, they were also able to determine that fruit flies can retain this information for at least two hours. They also concluded that the ellipsoid body is the main area of the fruit fly brain which is responsible for visual place learning. These findings have helped scientists to understand spatial memories in fruit flies and have been utilised in subsequent studies. Further studies on this topic generally agree with and have elaborated upon the findings of Ofsted and colleagues. Pfeiffer and Homburg, for example, went on to investigate the functions of other areas of the fruit fly brain. Another study by Selig and Giaraman also drew on the findings of this study, going on to discover that a group of neurons in the central complex of the fruit fly's brain play an important role in sensory motor integration.